Now, meanwhile, the suspect in the Oxford school shooting faced a judge again today. Tomorrow, it'll be his parents, James and Jennifer Crumbly's turn. Jason Colthorpe live tonight in Oxford with what we expect in court. Jason. Well, the real fireworks, Devin, are expected at the preliminary exam, which is next Tuesday. Tomorrow, it could be brief, but very important considering the Crumleys, who will be there in person, are also trying to get out of jail. As probable cause conferences go, this one is more anticipated than most. Certainly so, considering the tragedy and the rare fact parents of an alleged school shooter have been charged. Attorney Neil Rockhind expects James and Jennifer Crumley's attorney to try and get their $500,000 bonds lowered. Issues like the discovery that the bonds are set, which are very high. Maybe the defense will try to again attack the issue of the viability of the charge. Maybe they'll even try to attack the viability of the, the claim that they were trying to flee. There's not much that can happen at a probable cause conference, but tomorrow will also be about what we don't hear. Try to do as much as you can to contain the, the public release of information about the case. Try not to argue the facts of the case on the record. Meanwhile, as the legal process continues, so does the grieving process. Tonight at Canterbury Village, a small candlelight vigil for a few dozen people, including some parents and students from Oxford. Part of that grieving process also involves many people coming here to the high school and being here at the makeshift memorial that continues to grow. Of course, the high school a long way off from reopening, but a step in the right direction has been happening this week in this parking lot where all of the students are getting their backpacks that they left behind that fateful day. It began today, continues tomorrow and on Wednesday. At Oxford High School, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. All right, Jason.